What do you think? <laughs> oh, this is a machine now. Check this thing out. This is an old, old combine. It was just, we're cutting right over there. And I saw this, I thought, I'll walk over and look at this. This thing ain't but maybe 12 foot, maybe. 10, 10 or 12 foot wide head. There's the feed chute coming up into the harvester. And here's the, here's the uh, bin. <laughs> it can't be maybe maybe 40 or 50 bushel <laughs> it's pretty small <laughs> it uh it's green i was gonna say it's a uh it's gonna say it's a, a john deere but it's not there's a sign right here on the side it says it's an oliver an old oliver i have no idea i'm gonna guess i'm gonna guess 40s or maybe 50s something like that <laughs> it's quite the machine there's uh there's some animal animal poop down in there probably a cat or something but yeah i had the old wooden blades here on the front uh for for the reels yeah <laughs> yeah compared to kirk's new combines you know the modern combines that can do you know so many acres a, an hour this would be more like the same amount of acres in in two or three days you know there's your your gasoline, probably gasoline engine with a gasoline uh, tank. Small. The, the the drive tires on this are smaller than the steer tires on the new combine. <laughs> I mean, yes. Yeah, so look around here. Make sure there's nothing. It's too cold for snakes, I think. But yeah, look at this whole thing. There you go. There's the sieves. There you go. Inside. <laughs> oh mercy. I don't know anything about this. Here's the, the, the straw spreader that spins and scatters the straw. Been here a while. Here's a tree. <laughs> yeah, it's been here quite some time. I have no idea what, I know it's an Oliver. Let's go over and look at the, uh, at the plate. I'm saying here, let me see here. I'm just gonna measure this off. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's right at 12 foot, 12 foot wide head versus a 30 and a Kirk's got a 40 for wheat. Yeah. <laughs> this thing probably went along about one mile an hour where the new combines are six or five or six mile an hour or better. But here's that that plate. Let's see what we're gonna learn about it. It a uh, Oliver. The Oliver Corporation, Battle Creek, Michigan, USA, the finest in farm machinery. Model number 33, and there's a serial number combine that's it i don't know how well that's coming up on the screen here but yeah outdoors outside you would you would have a uh the the operator would be sitting here out in the sun and the heat all day and they put an umbrella up above them that was that was that was air conditioning in the day <laughs> so i ought to ask kirk what that is but yeah that's that's an old old machine there <laughs> oh well, I just saw it, I thought I'd throw it out there. Okay, I got back in the truck here and I, I couldn't resist. I had to look it up. Um I got on my phone here, went on uh the internet and looked up a, a Oliver 33. An Oliver 33, it's a 1953 model. I was right, I was pretty close. 1953 model. Uh, they advertise a 1953 Oliver Model 33 self-propelled combine. Okay, that was the big thing in 53 self-propelled combine. Before that, you had stationary harvesters or not harvesters, uh, threshing machines. Okay, you had threshing machines that sit still, and you'd bring the, the 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 crop over and throw it in it and thresh it. You know, in one spot. Now these are self-propelled. That's the 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 early evolution of what they call a combine combined machine it's a it's a harvester thresher all in one okay and um i'm sitting there coming you know after i turn the camera off i'm walking over here i got to chuckling about that thinking you know oh what a small little old combine ain't that cute ain't that just dinky you know ain't that just cute you know but i got to thinking back in 1953 some farmer bought that and that was high tech. He was proud of that machine. Boy, God, that's a, I got a sell one. I got one of them newfangled self-propelled jobs, you know. Um, that was 
top neck uh, top notch uh, technology back in that day you know and it kind of got me to thinking you know kirk is real proud of his combine and he's real proud of his car tractor and gra grain cart and all that kind of stuff his machinery he's 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 proud of that stuff he put a lot of effort by you know worked his way up to that you know one of these days kirk's combine that 8120 that real nice can you know combine that he has 50 years from now, 60 years from now, some guy on YouTube or whatever will be around at that date, some guy's going to sit there and see that tractor parked under a tree somewhere, or a tree parked and a tree grows up underneath it. <laughs> and he's going to be chuckling, well, oh, look hell, it's only a 30-foot head, or it's only a 40-foot head. And, oh, isn't that cute? Oh, look at these little tires, you know, and, or look at these, they got tires on these. We have hover, you know, hovercraft now, you know. Uh, it's all done from the air or so who knows what technology will come up with or it's all robotics or something you know and um it'll you know i guess the the evolution of technology there are little bitty combines back then they went to these big combines and i was talking to kirk just we were just driving around one day in a pickup and i said something about you know how how, how big are you supposed to get these combines to be and he says i think they're probably about as big as they're gonna get because technology is starting to evolve already that these combines will be self-propelled, you know, self-driven, self you know, uh, uh, um, uh, automated, you know, uh, autonomous. That's the word I'm looking for. And instead of having one big 50 foot wide head on a combine that's heavy and compacting the ground and everything, what well, you'll probably, you won't have the manpower problems. A, 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 a farmer in the future will probably, instead of buying one really big combine that one man can do a whole bunch with, They'll buy smaller drone type combines, and so it'll be a, they'll probably be combines about that size, only a, you know, ten or fifteen or twenty foot head. But there's they're going to have five of them instead of just one, and they're going to go all over the place, and it's all satellite controlled, you know, and and that way one combine will go out and make its round and come over and dump on a grain cart or whatever, you know, it's, it'll be all automated, I guess. But he says he's thinking it's probably these big combines. This is as big as they'll get. And what will happen is they'll they'll downsize them and make them automated. So who knows? I mean, someday, thirty years from now, somebody will watch this video and go, "Yeah, that that that's what they're doing." Uh, uh, and today, this is what they thought. This would be an old, uh, you know, archival footage or something, you know. But anyway, um, I just thought I'd. I just saw it sitting over. I gotta go over and look at that. <laughs> and then when I was coming back, I got to thinking, I'm gonna look into this and find out a little bit more about it, but. Makes you kind of ponder and think, huh? So, uh, progress, progression, you know, the progress of uh, technology. <laughs>